Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be looking at Hegemony 3 Clash of the Ancients, game made by Longbow Games and developed and published by them. It came out five years ago in August 2015. Let's see how this game aged and how good it really is. So let's do a new game over here. We're gonna be playing for just a little while. It has kind of a small tutor tutorial or something like that. And we're gonna do this short one. It ha we have a short campaign here in Truria. This is a mod that I have that places the Kingdom of Makedon sandbox, so that should be fun as well. The game already has some DLC, so we're gonna do Etruria. Etruria has a smaller map. Now, we're not gonna go through the campaign hole because this campaign takes about maybe four to six hours to complete, depending on uh, on the, the game speed that you have set, which is the first tip I'm gonna give you guys. If you guys wanna play this game, okay, okay, okay. Let's just select the faction. I am going to select, hmm. These guys are the, are the toughest to play as because they are in the middle of everyone. So we're gonna have the Velathri right up here. So we're gonna have to unite the Velathri tribes and then we are going to start conquering everybody else. It's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy. The Vey might also might also be interesting here, but no, we're gonna go with the Velathrians. And we can select the game um, difficulty. Uh, we're gonna go normal uh, for, for now. And we're gonna get right into the game. All right. There we go. Okay. So the game is a real-time strategy game and it focuses on supply lines. You need to have your supply lines done properly. You have a food system that it's actually quite interesting. So you can see here you have the four seasons, winter, spring, summer and autumn. And your food income is going to be different depending on the season you're in. So right now we are in spring, we are losing food because we have no food. You'll have to capture these little things. We have a fishery right here. We have a camp right here. The camp doesn't do anything. It's just a, a place you can put units or store goods inside. All right, but anyway, let's just go. We have our little territory right here and it's, it's okay if it doesn't grow that much. We don't really need it to grow that much. We're going to go ahead and recruit a couple of spearmen because the spearmen I find are a little bit better than the axemen, even though the axemen have more attack. So we're gonna get a couple of spearmen. That should be enough. We will be losing money by getting two of these guys. So maybe, maybe not two, maybe not two. Let's just spam this one. And uh, what we'd wanna, wanna have is, okay, let's just, put our general right there on that unit then now uh, we're gonna need to capture that so to capture these things you simply send a unit out and uh, that's it what do we have we have these guys as well we're gonna send them to capture the bridgehead and then we're gonna be able to get a bridge built but we're not gonna do it yet because we don't have a lot of resources now you can see that the game runs a little bit slow and as I was saying earlier my first tip for you guys is this you press F2 you get, wait, let's pause the game. You get F2, you get this little thing over here, and then you, you ride. Set game speed, um, this is two, this is the second game speed. You can go all the way up to four. I don't know if you can go all the way up to five, but at least four you can. And that will have the game run way faster, which is very good, look at that. They just captured that bridgehead so damn quickly, so that's pretty good. Now, we're gonna be losing money very soon. I don't need to, like, if you wanna make supply routes, I'm gonna tell you when this captures. And I'm gonna show you how to get the supply routes going. Okay, we need to get a some peasants, some workers right there. You can recruit some workers, you can recruit the scouts. I find that scouts are not really that needed. So now let's send the workers over to the fishery because the fishery is not producing any goods. You need to have workers in the fisheries. So we're now going to set a supply line all the way over to this bridgehead because the bridgehead is connected to our city. So we're gonna do that. All right, here they go. Okay, there are some barbarians out there. So we're gonna try and fight them. You will see that Okay, our dude is not happy. We might lose. Yeah, we lost that fight. 
We have the reinforcements right here and we didn't do anything. Okay, this is not ideal because now it's going to be drawing from our population here in uh, Villa 3. And we don't have a lot of it. Okay, we can capture the slaves like that. Whoops, yeah, we got a unit of slaves right there, and now we're gonna get that, those guys. You know, I find it a lot, when, when you get to the archers, it's gonna be pretty good. Alright, you pause the game, and you do that. Notice that I am playing in, in game speed 4. Fracture and without ambition, we should seize this opportunity to bring them under our banner, so that we may prosper together and stand strong against them. Yeah, 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 I agree. Okay, we got them. So now let's unite the these two slaves, and then we'll, we're going to be able to um, put the slaves working on, you know, someplace. I don't know which, but we're going to be doing that. Okay, let's capture those sheep. Those are going to be important. We're going to then make a supply line from our city to the camp. And uh, that's going to be great. So we're going to put some slaves on those sheep. Alright, let's do let's do it. I don't know if they can still get there. Okay, we got that camp. We can do that. The camp doesn't get get there, so let's just uh, pick that one up. Alright, perfect, beautiful. There we go. We're gonna get all the fisheries that we can. We also have one. Th this one looks like it is on on our side, on their side, but it's on our side. So these things are cities that we have to go ahead and scout and have them join our cause. Okay, so I could get a couple more units here. Um, we're just making four per turn. We're gonna food is actually going up. You can see here that food is not stable of over the years. So that's pretty good. Oh, it was saying diplomacy, but we have no diplomacy. Okay, no problem. Let's just take a look at this city. I think they only want money. I think that's all they want. Greetings from the people of Pisai. We understand you seek to unite our people under a common banner. We see the merit in your proposal, but as a gesture of goodwill, there is something we would ask of you before we make our decision. Well, let me know. The people of Pisai are easily impressed by gold. Exactly. So we now go and we pay their bribe. Alright, they are ours now. We're gonna have some problems with food. I know that much. So they have some people. We're gonna we're gonna get two workers and we're gonna feed into these two fisheries because we're gonna need those. We also are going to need some workers on this thing. Hmm. But we could use more slaves for that. Should we get another general? All right, let's take another general. I haven't taken a look at generals yet. So let's take this lady out of here. And we'll see. She has unit defense. Ooh, that cost. The sh charge block is pretty good. So when other units charge you, they, they don't do charge damage. Uh, but you have city faction morale. You have population growth. Tax output negative. I don't really like that. We're going to need all the money we can get our hands into. And we can just have her go on our unit the same way as we have a general right there as we can see we can take a look at the general right here he is right there okay wonderful so now let's get our workers on those fisheries because we're gonna need that sweet food I I, I tell you I've already done this campaign once and um, food is really hard to come by okay let's visit the next city it's Luca. All right, there we go. We just figured this one out, and we are going to have this guy explore all of these things. So we we can actually, with our shift key, we can give it several orders, and it will just get the orders. Whoops! This one should be connected to that. Okay, that's wonderful. Oh no, we have raiders! All right, let's go for the raiders. I'm sorry, dude. You cannot go there. They are they are demolishing my fort. No, my supply lines. Yeah, this is uh, this is not good. All right, but at least I'm gonna get more. Okay, we can have him sprint to get those guys. And we can have this guy sprint to get those guys. Yay, we got more slaves. Okay, that's good. Now, we can, we can send them over 
Uh huh. We need to. Oh, they didn't destroy the fort. Yes, I like that. All right, let's let's then get this guy to go over those things and then to go over there. Perfect. Is that city mine? That city's not mine. No. Okay, so this these slaves are almost full, and where where were they? Sheep, sheep, of course, of course, on the sheep. Oh, one of our units has enough experience. Okay, okay, let's get him outside, and let's level the guy up. So right, this is a mod that I have. Okay, so it it has the command grip, log logistic stuff and stuff. But on the base game, you have certain certain things here that you can actually select and choose to improve your brigade but this mod just improves a little bit on that which is interesting so we're gonna get we're gonna get either a medic or okay we're gonna get or, or a field tactician these are probably the two best and then there's also the weapons master which is also pretty good but it costs a thousand a thousand experience so we're gonna do one of them um, let's see, unit defenses, and what does the field tact tactician do? Charge strength, charge block, formation strength. That's also very, very nice. But we're gonna do medic, because we want them to be very tough and defensive units. Okay, now we can go back inside. Alright, so we just got this one. Oh yeah, the mines are awesome. Uh, let's get them, let's get some, some, some dudes out here so you can see that I have more people than actual you know I have more recruits than than my limit and so the city's not really producing any recruits all right and it's the same thing here so let's get a couple of recruits right here and I would say let's get them okay let's not get a military unit yet I don't have any any money for it even though I probably should yeah, let's get let's get a let's get an Etruscan spearman here, and we're gonna get we're gonna get an axman here. So that's gonna be pretty expensive. Look at that, we're bleeding money like crazy, but it is what it is. Okay, so we're gonna need one there, and we're gonna need one here. Wood wood is important to build stuff. And the mines just give you more money. Alright. And we have all our supply lines. Blessings strong on you from the people. Word has spread that you intend to forge a new Velothrian Empire. Many of us wish to see the Velothri claim their rightful rulership of this land. But others say that joining you will ace in our downfall. Perhaps a gesture on your part might convince the others' wisdom of your path. During the last attack, the raiders carried away some of our citizens and are holding them captive in a fort nearby. A group of volunteers has gathered on our city. Okay, so they sent me uh, volunteers of Luca. We are going to disband this unit afterwards because how much do they cost? Doesn't say. Huh. Oh, let's just send these guys over there. Are these guys volunteers as well? No, these guys are my companions. The companions are pretty strong troops actually. Okay, so we have a unit there, we have a unit there. Let's bring our Oxman right here. With three units, we're gonna be able to, to get... Oh, those guys are not happy, are they? You guys are... You guys don't have any food. Okay, there's no food on this city, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, let's go... Let's resupply. We're gonna all go for, to this town and we're gonna resupply. Now, one thing you can do, remember, supplies on this game are very important. So, your units have a capacity for food. If you have the army, you can then load the food in them. And that's pretty much it. You can tell your your city to get more food than the rest, but, uh, you know, I don't think they're, they're getting there. Or are they? Yeah, no, nothing is happening. Food is actually going down, but that's probably because we have a lot of soldiers there. Oh, we cannot go in the march. We don't have the technology for that. There's also a technology three right here. Um, I would advise you guys, if you want to play this game, go economy and go all the way over to colonization, because this is going to be very important later down the game, because the cities you conquer, they are not going to be your cities. They're gonna belong to to the other factions, and their culture will be the other factions' culture. All right, let's do it. Oh no! All right, no biggie. Go 
Okay, so we charged them. That's it. We won. Let's just capture these guys. Sprint! Alright, and we're gonna get them as well, I believe. Let me check. Let me check out here. Okay, they are three. Now it's a good it's a good time to come here and lower the game speed back to the original. And you're gonna see the fighting. You guys can can go over here, you can approach this. Look at my mighty general. Okay. Let's capture these guys as well. And now we're all the way over here. Let's see what's going on. Okay, come on, dudes. Come on, my dudes. All right, you go. You, we got we got charges all over the place. These guys got quite a quite a bit of damage because of that charge. I hope they they're able to just take care of that one. All right, let's let's charge those guys in, and let's just capture those slaves with this one. Let's see what's going on down here. It's get it gets hectic on this game like that because you're gonna have multiple fronts, and uh, it's it's gonna be quite, uh, you know, it's gonna be challenging. Let's just put it like that. So I know that there is a fort out there. There is a rebel fort out there, and the rebel fort is of course feeding uh, rebels into this area, which is not very good. All right, let's just um, take those guys. Let's go and take those guys. So on, on the Etruscan map, you have a line here that you cannot cross. So the slaves can actually um, escape. There we go. So now let's just capture that one. And we're going to get some more slaves. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's good. That feels great. All right. And this slave, slave unit, it's already bigger. So we're going to get there. Boom. Now inside here we have the colonists that the guys at Luca told me to save. And boom, we got that. Now we don't need this fort over here. We really don't. So we can just destroy it. How, how cool is that? Alright, there we go. And now we can once again speed up the game. Because we dealt with all our problems at this point. We can also grow our city. So... Let's take a look at this. Once this pot becomes full, the city will be will be able to level up. So we're gonna do it. Boom. And now it will, over time, level up. Of course, the, the higher the level of the city, the longer it takes level up. I mean, this is pretty basic stuff, isn't it? Okay, there we go. And then it, the pot will fill again. What happens here is you, you get a bunch of recruits. You The total number of recruits that you can have increases. And your companion unit, which is the unit we have right over here, it gets a little bit larger. It gets a couple more units in it. And, and a little bit stronger as well. So that is nice. We're gonna take that bridgehead over there. Okay, we got... Did we take this? Yeah, that that's ours. Alright, let's start taking that, taking that. Cancel. So, uh, there are things here that still don't belong to us, so that's... Uh, quite... Not great. Hey, why, why is my general not... You can actually go around with just the general, but... Okay, so they joined us. Sweet. And we just found a new faction. I don't know where they are, but we just found a new faction. What do we have here? We have a unit... Oh, one defeated unit? Yeah, we got a defeated unit, right. The defeated units go back to the place where they were originally recruited. Okay, so let's get uh, the volunteers there. We're gonna use the volunteers for now. That's gonna be ours. That's gonna be ours. No problem. Okay. Let's take that. Let's take that. Okay, let's see. What is this? An assigned general. Yeah, we, we don't have this guy assigned. Let's see the bonuses. Unit defenses, me melee damage, charge block. Um, I think... He would do great on a spearman unit, uh, and we we had one. 
I think, right there, isn't it? Yeah, 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 we have a spearman unit right there. So different generals have different bonuses, so they will do different things, right? Okay, so because it's in our territory, you don't need to have a supply line to it. Let's get the supply line there. Let's get another supply line there. And we're making some pretty decent money, as you can see. So we could probably get a couple more units. Um, we still cannot do any building. So I'm, 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 I just want to wait for the barracks, really, to show up. But I know I'm going to need some units to deal with those rebels and stuff like that. So let's take out the these guys by the way there's a lot of bodies on the ground and this is also part of my mod so now we can get there as well these guys are getting some food let's go back inside and let's get a bunch of workers so we're gonna need one two three four workers that's quite a bit that's quite a bit let's just get the four the four workers then we're gonna get more slaves right there so you can just wait and farm and farm slaves right let me pay respects on, on behalf of the Velch. While relations with our uh, were often strained, my leaders wish to make a new start with you. Okay, so that's that's it, and we're gonna pay the bribe. We're gonna pay a bribe to these guys. I'm not happy about it, but we will. Here, um, what's what's happening? I'm I'm sort of confused. Okay, you can also upgrade these buildings um, with resource production or living quarters, which is very very handy when you have too many workers or n very little workers. So let's get the excess slaves right there. So for example. Imagine I wanted to have more food, which uh, I absolutely do want. We are in autumn, and I'm not making that much food. So, let's take a look at that. Total production, 108. Seven, or, uh, and we are consuming 78 per turn. We have three cities, that makes sense. We have a bunch of dudes here. Of course, we're going to be making some more right now. So, let's just get these guys over to their spots. Uh, I think there's one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that one. Perfect. And what we can do now is just... Um, so, for example, I want to be making more money. I'm going to get here. And I will get the resource production thing. The same here. And we could do the same here. We could do the same there. And we could do the same here. We, we could keep going, but I don't have enough food for these upgrades, right? Look at that! It's it's telling me you you have don't not enough wood. So yeah, that kind of makes sense. Um, I don't understand why this thing is saying that because they are clearly connected. You know, they're clearly connected. Um, hmm. Nowhere to send the resource. But there's none here, so you, you do have places to send the resources. What are you talking about? Um, yeah. So you see, it, it, it immediately told me, hey, that supply line is completely useless. So I don't really know um, what's, what's about this thing that's saying nowhere to send the resource. So we're just gonna do that. Um, and now it's okay. So I, I guess this supply line it doesn't really work. All right, we need to do something though. Let's get there. Uh, I don't know why I would want this bridgehead over there, but I could also take it. Let's send this dude over there. We can also change how the taxes are working out here. Um, yeah, we don't need any recruits, so they're not recruiting anybody. And here we're just gonna do that as well. It's exactly the same thing. We're not we're not in need of any recruits on these cities. Did they have any kind of buildings up? Nope. You you might be wondering why are you not developing those two cities up there? It's because we already have one here that I am upgrading a lot, and that is going to use a lot of food. And I don't want to come to have a problem of food. That is. Okay, I see how it is. 
Can we get? No, we cannot get there. So we're gonna we're gonna send everybody over there, and then we're going to attack um, that thing over there. All right, let's now delete this thing because we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it differently. Our spice visitor disturbing things are are at play. Conspiracy of the Lathrian exiles and malcontents have found sympathetic ears. All right, so that means we're probably gonna need an army right here very very soon, and we do have quite a few units. So let's take a look. We're going to send these two guys. We're going to send them here, and we can build a fort. We cannot build a fort there, but we're going to take them over uh, to conquer that bridge head over there. That's going to be useful. It's winter, we shouldn't be going anywhere because we're using up food that our cities could be using to level up. We don't have any wood here to keep leveling up the city, that's why it's stuck at 8%. So uh, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. Remember, these guys are building their stuff. That is why we have no, no wood. Alright. Because I had a bunch of buildings going along. Alright, let's just take a look at what's going on out here. We are discovering these places. Let's keep scouting. Um, that still belongs to no one. Okay, we... Oh, no, no, no! Crap, we just lost a unit. We just lost two units, actually. Yeah, even though... Um, yeah, we just lost two units. Where, where are they? Ah, uh, damn. Damn! Okay, two of them were here, I guess. Okay, that's not too harsh. Okay, but we, we would we, we are having some issues right here. Alright, not anymore. I like it. Okay. Good. Has decided that this disturbing peace between us... Okay, so that means we have war now. And that means I really need to take some units um, in there. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're going to take the fort that is... This fort right here, because it, it's been giving me some, some issues. And now you see the power of these guys. I was completely distracted. That's why the game speed, the normal speed, is fairly slow. It's um, to give you time to, to, to watch everything. So sometimes it's not that great to just have it on max speed every single time. Okay, let's send the slaves out here. And let's take a look at this. Yeah, we, we can probably just uh, tax them a little bit less because I have a ton of money. I don't really need that money, do I? And we can give them some more food, but we're going to need the food. So let's just do that. Alright, what are these guys though? Companions and Axemen of Peace Sight. Wait, 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 wait. My companions don't have my leader. That's kind of, that kind of sucks. Okay, they are here just wasting their food. Okay. So those dudes are conquering stuff, which isn't great. And we still need to go and talk to those dudes. Alright, let's just take out this um, barbarian fort. Boom. And we're gonna take our troops in there. Let's do that. Let's destroy this one. We don't need it anymore. Alright, we get a couple supply lines right there and we're good to go. Let's take that fishery. I'd rather these guys go and join those dudes out there. Alright, let's go to the other side of the bridge. Let's go away. But they're coming with three units. That's not good. We're, we're gonna need to send reinforcements out there. Alright, what, what else? What else? We need some um, some workers to fill that, that thing over there. Because that's gonna give me quite a bit of money. And we need some more troops as well. Alright. How are we doing? Not good. We're not doing great. Yeah, 
immediately we were defeated by those guys, so that's not great, is it? And the problem is that our cities are losing people, which isn't ideal. Alright. Let's just attack their boom. Boom. Oh, look at that. We're just getting defeated. All right. We're going to we're going to have to send these guys over. Jesus Christ. This is this isn't good. We're going to have to send all the, the, our entire army. Where are they going? Alright, this way we can actually defeat these guys, can we not? Let's put it on speed 2. And uh, let's keep going here. We have two more guys. Now, we will surely defeat them now. Let's just get those guys, come on! You guys are going to work at the mines. You did too much damage. You defeated too many of my units. Okay, these guys are done. Go to the mines. Alright, and they, they kind of gave up. Which is weird. And now we got all of those s slaves as well. So let's, let's just put them there. Alright. Jesus Christ, that was... That was tough. I was not expecting so much resistance from the AI. Alright. Oh no! Holy crap, they're gonna take my, my, my capital! Oh no! Uh, let's take it back. Holy crap! I was not expecting that, I have to say. Okay, we have a bunch of troops here. Um, I really don't think they will be able to, to beat us. Oh my god, they're doing it. They're beating us. Come on, get those bastards. The problem is that uh, that is completely undefended, isn't it? Oof, that was tough. That was tough. I did not enjoy that at one bit. Okay, we got it. Whew. Man. That was not great. We need another unit then. Okay, let's get another one here. And let's get another one there. We're gonna need to re get make our supply lines. Let's do that. Okay, let's get all of these guys right there. Let's get these guys there. And we're gonna need to invade. Okay. 
I say we... Oh my goodness, I cannot. Okay, let's leave those guys over and we're gonna send four units. Uh, these guys are kind of hurt, aren't they? What? Oh, okay, it's not my unit. Alright. Okay, let's get our spearmen there. They seem to have quite a bit of military power over there. We're gonna have a revolt there, so we're gonna have to take care. It's got a little bit less money, we have a lot. Perfect. Alright, let's uh, bring these guys back. They are capturing the bridge. Alright, we got them. Wait. Okay, okay, it's already there. Let's capture this one. And we can actually bring these guys over. Let's get... Whoops. We cannot build anything here. Okay, I thought we were going to be able to get the bridge. Oh, it, uh, it has no wood. Okay. okay. Let's grow the damn thing again. Alright, we captured this one. Let's take that one. Hey, where's my general? My general. Hey, general. Hey, what's up, man? Where are my companions, by the way? Spearmen, spearmen, spearmen. My companions are right there. Right. It's ours. Can you not come over here now? Nope. And oh yeah, okay. It's just like that and the bridge starts building. Look at that. Yeah, beautiful. We're going to have to go and teach them a lesson. The problem is I don't know where they are. So I'm just going to sit with these two guys right there. Wonderful. So we have three three troops right there. We're gonna send another one right there. Oof. Yeah, this this game is tough. This game is tough. All right, let's send one guy over to that city. Let's see what what is there. We could, we could scout. We could scout. We could be scouting and learning where is everything else. Okay, there we go. We're gonna have to take these guys. Okay, let's take those. Okay, we're gonna be able to beat them for sure. Currently not hostile with you if you attack. I don't know who those guys are then. There we go. Alright, and these guys, they're not happy at all. Look at that. What's going on? They have no food. Okay, I see what's going on. Yeah, unfortunately I cannot do much about that. Let's send my, my general. And we're gonna be able to start just fighting these guys. Okay, these guys are out. I'm hoping. Okay, let's now capture that bridgehead. It's more important right now. This is our, our goal. Boom, there we go. 
And we also need that fish. Because we have all of these slaves, and uh, we definitely do need that fish. Oh, look at the amount of units that they have. Whew. Okay, that was close. Yeah, I know, I can see that. I am there. Let's get some of these guys. Okay, we could use a unit here. Ah, oh, yes. Oh! What? units uh, just left. So we have a rebel camp out there. And we are slowly taking care of these rebels. Oh, we have a ton of... Uh, ton of slaves out here, don't we? Um, let me just get some food here. Um, we can we can just do that and see if uh, a lot of food is coming into the city, right? Because that's the problem. They are they have high unrest because of because they have no food. Jesus, and there's still there's still guys outside, so I cannot really do much with my with my slaves. Guys, just get there. Get back there as well. Okay. We're getting a ton of these guys. What is this? Why are you not doing anything? Yeah, it's no need. I don't I really don't know why it's like that. I think it's because we are full. Alright, what can I build here? Nothing yet. Buildings do come along at some point. Oh, shoot. Alright, having no food really pisses people off, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it? We have lost control of that city. They have cast out our administration population of... Oh, are you serious, man? Speaking of which, let's just not stockpile wood here. Wait, didn't I have a unit in, in here? Shit, shit. These guys are not happy. Okay, let's just capture it. It's gonna be back to us. Okay, it's back to us. Alright, let's just get another, yet another unit of slaves. So let's just put them there. And uh, let's just capture that once and for all. All right, boom. How many more? Okay, there's no nothing is happening down here. Let's just send these two guys out that way. Oh, 
Let's look at the amount of dudes that we are just... Okay, go on. I think there's another rebel encampment right there. That's why they're running this way. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna be raising it. Oh no! Yes! We still we still got a couple. Okay, perfect. But truth is we don't really need these guys, so let's just uh, erase them from the map. Alright. And these two guys are gonna go that way. One of you is going this way. Perfect. Nice. What what do they do, by the way? This guy, view distance unit, defense, this guy, okay. Why didn't the game stop? To tell me this was going on. It's 2 on 1, so we should be able to win. Alright, and you guys got captured. Ooh, I have a lot of these dudes. Okay, now we can just uh, join these guys. Look at that, I have way too many. I'm gonna send one of them over there. I'm gonna send one of them over to those Vinelands. You too. You're gonna get there. You are going to get there quickly. Man, it's just a shame that none of them is actually able to give me a little bit more morale on the city. Alright, now we can... Do that, we can do that. This guy can go for the fishery, and the fishery can go for the bridgehead. Perfect. Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright, let's send more, more over there. That's kind of the place where the slaves meet. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Let's go ahead and get those guys. Okay, we have a lot of troops. Uh, why are you not? Or why are you guys not going that way? Okay. You need to go and resupply. Good thing is I still left one unit. Oh, there, you guys go that way. My dude is not happy. Neither is theirs. Oh, my dude just gave up the fight. You damn wonkers. Alright. Because now, they're gonna go back to the city. And that's not good. Alright. Here, here they go. How is how is my Velathri city going? Well, anyway, guys, we have united the Velathrian peoples, so we we do have quite a lot of people here. Oh no, that's not what we wanted. Okay, wonderful. We have united them. We have stabilized this region over here. Now we have a lot of problems. I don't know why. All right, let's just. Uh, you know, not all buildings have been built. We have a ton of wood, but still, not all buildings have been built, which is kind of weird. Uh, we didn't make any... We didn't build a barracks over here, which is a shame, but it is what it is. Let's see what the city has. Okay. And this is Hegemony 3, Clash of the Ancients. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, 
let me treat you. You must pay. No, I'm never, I'm never paying. So what, what would you do next? Next, you would just go ahead and conquer stuff. This is normal difficulty, so it's not too hard. I have told you how to speed up your game. Oh, look at that. We have the economy things. So now I would just do this. And this would allow me, for example, if I capture this city over here, this city is going to be from the from another another people's culture and we would have a little circle over here that would tell me the progression until the city would be considered my culture so I could do some colonists send the colonists over to that city and pop the colonists and uh, it would give me a massive boost to the integration of that city into my culture that's pretty much how it works anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed this game I have been Mr. Turd do like subscribe and all those good things and I'll see you guys on the next Next one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much.